नानम परमम धेयम नॉलेज इज सुप्रीम so uh, let us resume our discussion about the galva group of a polynomial so uh, recall our notation we have a field k it may not be characteristic zero it is arbitrary characteristic field and we have a polynomial f in kx and we are assuming that f is a product of distinct prime polynomials so pi 1 to pi r are distinct prime polynomials in kx distinct prime polynomials and uh, we are taking then the and also we are assuming all these prime polynomials are separable it is not really necessary to assume but we can reduce to that case they are separable over k therefore with this we have the zero set of uh, this polynomial the splitting field the splitting field a minimal splitting field or splitting field field that is k vf this is l and we are considering l over k this is the galva extension because f is separable and this l is a splitting field and we want to study then the galva group gal k f this is by definition galva group of l over k and we know this is this only depends on f because we have seen that splitting fields are to any two splitting fields are k isomorphic therefore this l doesn't depend on f it only depends on the isomorphism class of l so this is a galva group this is called the galva group of the equation so gal k f is called the galva group of the equation f of x is zero that is how in earlier days it was written and we want to study the roots by using galva groups and and now we will i will give some indication how we go on in concrete examples all right the first thing to note is um, this group is isomorphic this is uniquely determined up to a k isomorphism gal kf is uniquely determined up to k isomorphism all right so uh, uh, first thing to note is the because it's a galva extension the order of this galva group is same thing as degree of this field extension l over k because l over k is galva and um, this degree is less equal to degree f factorial this is very easy to check because okay there is one thing another thing i want to write is v of f instead of these are the roots x1 to xn they are the zeros of f and they are all distinct they are distinct and n is the degree of f this we know 
मोर ओवर वी नो दैट इफ आई हैव ए सिग्मा एलिमेंट इन द गलवा ग्रुप देन द सिग्मा सिग्मा इज एन ऑटोमोर्फिजम ऑफ एल के ऑटोमोर्फिजम के एलजीबर ऑटोमोर्फिजम एंड इफ एक्स इज अ रूट इफ एक्स इज इन वी एफ देन वी नो सिग्मा एक्स इज ऑल्सो इन वी एफ सो दिस मीन्स इन अदर वर्ड्स दिस मीन्स द गालवा ग्रुप एफ ऑपरेट्स ऑन एफ ऑन द व्यू ऑफ एफ दिस ऑपरेशन इज नथिंग बट द नेचुरल ऑपरेशन ऑफ द गालवा ग्रुप on the splitting field and that we are restricting to here so this is the map operation map this is galva group cross v of f this is this is a very natural map sigma and any x is go to sigma x as we have been using this observation again and again this is one thing uh, another thing to note is that uh, any sigma in galva group this is uniquely determined by the tuple if i know the values of the sigma on the roots the this the sigma is uniquely determined by this because simply because l is generated over k by these elements x1 to xn x1 to xn are precisely the roots of f so this if i know these values then i know completely sigma on l because any element of l is actually a polynomial in x1 to xn so therefore all the uh, values of sigma will be determined by these values so therefore this means what this means so equivalently this operation is faithful so that means um, galva group operates faithfully on the zero set vf which is x1 to xn what does that mean so this means so first of all this an operation will give you a map from the group now group theoretically thinking operation one should think is a map this from the galva group to the permutations of this x1 to xn and if a sigma goes to sigma goes to this permutation what permutation namely x going to sigma x and this because sigma is uniquely determined by its values on this x1 to xn only one sigma will go to the given tuple so that means this group homomorphism is injective because sigma is uniquely determined by its values on this so the, this is injective but when we say when we say this now Um, if i choose a different numbering then this will give you a different so that means we are identifying so this we identify gal kf with its image in s of x1 to xn but when we did this identification we have chosen a fixed numbering we have chosen some numbering somebody else may some different numbering but if one chooses a different numbering then that will be unique up to a conjugation so therefore when we make this identification if somebody chooses different numbering then you don't get the given galva group but you will get a conjugate subgroup in s1 to sn so this is uniquely determined Uh, this one 
is unique this identification is unique up to a conjugation conjugate subgroups so i hope it is clear so this if you choose a, if somebody chooses a different numbering then this given galva group will be changed to its conjugate subgroup anyway this is an injective homomorphism that we will use and uh, therefore we are identifying this galva group of f with the permutation group on n let and now uh, the most important fact again i want to this is also called a faithful representation i don't i want to avoid using big big words so this is called faithful representation of the galois group so this is not this is only the language i want to use which is not so important but now so uh, i want to understand this galois group operation on the zero set x1 to xn so for example when one says understanding an operation means what are the orbits what are the stabilizers and so many other things right so first about the orbits so what are the orbits what are the orbits of this operation and what is what are the what is that they have to do with f so the only remember we only started with a polynomial f and this group is zero set all this is created after f so when we say orbits what is that to do with f and can we uh, uh, can you recognize the orbit in terms of f so that is what i will prove is orbits are precisely they correspond to the prime factors so that shows this group theory is orbit and this is a algebra this is a prime factorization so what do what do i want to prove the following theorem so this is a theorem this theorem is due to jordan and the year is something like 1870 jordan was the first who wrote a book on galva theory and in that book all these statements are uh, proved not only that he also proved so called jordan canonical form which now is taught in linear algebra courses and he taught it for actually for the finite field because he want to under he wanted to understand the general linear group glnk of a finite field that was the reason he proved uh, jordan canonical form all right so what does the jordan theorem say so let f equal to pi 1 to pi r be a monic separable polynomial in kx and pi 1 to pi r are distinct prime factors factors in kx and then we have then and g a gal kf b its galva group or k then the following are equivalent then the orbits 
of the operation of Galois group of F on the zero set Vf which I will denote x1 to xn zero set this of F are precisely V pi 1 V pi r. When I write V means I fix an algebraic closure k bar. This is algebraic closure of 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 k and when I write 0 set that is uh, in k bar. So, all these elements all these v pi 1 to pi r v pi r they are subsets here also v f is a subset and we know that v f is nothing but the union v pi 1 union 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 pi r v pi r and this is a disjoint union because we are assuming the prime factors pi 1 to pi r are distinct prime factors therefore this decomposition so uh, we will prove this so proof ok so how many orbits are there as many as the prime factors ok and how do how, how are we going to prove this uh, we will assume we may assume f equal to pi 1 and then I have to prove what I have to prove that and prove that Gal KF operates transitively on V of F. If and only so we should prove that. So we may assume so don't say we may assume we will prove that this one operates so it is enough to prove it is enough to prove the following statement that this operation is transitive if and only if f is irreducible over k. So, this is what we want to prove all right. So, how so, there are two statements assuming f irreducible I want to prove it is uh, transitive and assuming transitivity I want to prove f is irreducible. So, proof of this. So, so first is which way first is um, assume f is irreducible assume f is irreducible in k x and I want to prove to prove gal f operates transitively on v f this is what I want to prove. So, so what does the transitive operation means that means given two elements x and y in f I want to find that is given x and y to find sigma in Galois group with sigma of x equal to y. So, I have given x and y and I want to find sigma which carries x to y. So, and we are assuming f is irreducible. So, uh, and we are actually assuming it is monic also monic irreducible prime. So, look uh, therefore, x is a 0 of f. So, what will be the minimal polynomial of x over k that will be f and that is also minimal polynomial of y over k. So, x and y are both have the same minimal polynomial and I want to prove that there is an automorphism of the splitting field 
which will carry x to y. So now here we have uh, we have this k x polynomial ring and this k y k y k small y. This is nothing but k x mod mu x, mu y k the minimal polynomial of y. This is the quotient. And then uh, if I send capital X to Y, so this is minimal polynomial of X K. They are the same minimal polynomial. So this is a K algebra also isomorphism here. K isomorphism because my map small X to Y and this map is well defined. Therefore, I have this whether I write round bracket or square bracket, they are same. We have been seeing this. So I have an automorphism, uh, k isomorphism from k x to k y. This is k is contained here, k is contained here, and now I have a splitting field L here, which was contained in k bar, and this is contained here, and there is L here. This is contained here. Now first I say that this k k isomorphism. This is algebraic extension. Therefore, by Steinitz theorem. I can extend. I can extend this to a embedding from L to K bar, but now L is a splitting field. Therefore, L is normal. Therefore, I can actually extend this K isomorphism to a K isomorphism sigma. This is K algebra isomorphism. Isomorphism. Isomorphism is also clear because first of all it is an embedding and secondly last remarks shows that if I have an algebraic extension and any injective map from L to L that is actually surjective therefore it is actually a K algebra isomorphism. In other words the sigma is actually an element in the Galois group of F and what does the sigma do? The sigma maps X to Y that is what precisely I was looking for. So that proves that the Galois group operates transitively on the zeros of f. Conversely, I have to prove that. So conversely, if Galois group operates transitively on the zero set, then we need to prove then we need to prove that f is irreducible all right so uh, how am i going to prove that all right so uh, we know that it operates transitively so let us take uh, I want to prove f is irreducible. So, first of all, note that uh, look at any x in V of f and look at the minimal polynomial of x. Since f of x is 0, this means f of x is 0. So, if the polynomial vanishes at f, f is in kx and this polynomial vanishes at x. Therefore, the minimal polynomial has to divide f in kx. Conversely, I will prove that f divides mu x. So, note that if I have any other zero set of f, uh, any other zero of f, Then I know this why because uh, this Galois group operates on Vf transitively. So I have given this x, I have fixed this x, I have any other y, then this y has to be of the form sigma of x for some sigma in the Galois group. This is by assumption, by, by assumption, which assumption? Namely, the Galois group operates transitively on the zero set. So therefore, I have the sigma and now what is uh, y is therefore mu x k of y this y 
is same thing as mu x k of sigma x but the sigma will come out so this sigma of mu x k x which is sigma of 0 which is 0 so therefore y is also 0 of mu so that is that is mu x k y is also 0 this is and we have proved it for every 0 y of f so therefore this shows that the degree of mu and they are all distinct so degree of mu is at least the cardinality of vf but this is exactly equal to the degree of f because we are assuming that f has distinct zeros so therefore that proves that mu xk is actually f because other way we have already seen before so that means this f is in particular f is irreducible over k ok so uh, let me deduce one uh, so we have proved that the orbits are precisely the zeros of the prime factors so I want to deduce one corollary from here so corollary corollary this let f be a polynomial over q rationals be irreducible polynomial and with and assume that uh, there f has at least one real zero x and at least one non real complex zero z this is in c minus real numbers this x is in real numbers and both are zeros of f then I want to conclude that the Galois group of f over q is not available proof I have given that it is irreducible I could have said monic does not matter can just divide by the unique uh, the Galois group does not change so uh, it, it, the Galois group operates transitively so by uh, by theorem Galois group of f operates transitively on the zero set of f the zero set of f contains these two guys x and z this is real and this is complex but not real and there may be more so in particular it can so therefore there exists an element sigma in the Galois group uh, let me call it tau tau in the Galois group with a tau of a tau of uh, I want to take x or y so tau of x equal to z this is one and also look at I want to claim note that the complex conjugation uh, which is I denote by sigma then from c to c w going to w bar this will map maps the splitting field L inside L. So, the sigma restricted to the splitting field will be a map from L to L. This is clear because 
uh, you know this Q is here, splitting field is here and we are assuming splitting field there is an so because this is algebraic extension there is an embedding from L to C this this embedding extends to the embedding I want to call it still let us call it rho but this embedding because L is normal it will map L inside L and so so that will be the so, uh, to do it little bit more carefully, do it like this. This is an algebraic extension and there is a C to C. So, this is a complex conjugation. So, now look at this, this map. So, this is, C, this L is also contained in C because we are assuming L is algebraic and C is algebraically closed field. Definitely, there is an embedding here and this followed by sigma that will map L inside L. So, that means this, this complex conjugation is an automorphism of L. So, this sigma belongs to Galois group of F over Q. So, I have two elements in the Galois group and I want to show that they do not commute. Sigma tau is not same as tau sigma is not same as sigma tau. If I show this, that will mean that the Galois group cannot be abelian because I have two non-commutating elements. So, how do I check this? Let us check this by checking. I will evaluate this on x, both sides evaluate on x. So, what is the left side evaluated on x? Tau sigma on x. x is a complex conjugation. This sigma is a complex conjugation and x is real. Therefore, this is tau of x but tau x is z this is the left hand side and what is this side sigma tau on x so sigma tau on x is sigma of tau x but tau x is z and sigma is a complex conjugation so this is z bar and z bar is not z so this is not z because it's non real so this is not equal but this so therefore these are not equal therefore the group is not abelian and therefore we have proved that the Galois group is non abelian. So you see here the corollary is very interesting because uh, on one side the statement is about the polynomial and about the roots and non real uh, about the description of the roots on the other side is the operation of the Galois group, uh, the Galois group is not abelian. So, it is a property of the group which we have attached to the polynomial. So, this kind of information is very important. We are extracting information about the roots from the group and conversely. This is what the interplay was expected in this theory that we want to study polynomials and we want to extract information about the roots of the polynomial from the knowledge of the Galois group and conversely also. This interplay is precisely a theory which is known as Galois theory and today it has uh, gone, f it has uh, very far reaching consequences in many fields including algebraic geometry, commutative algebra, complex function theory, number theory and so on. And I will continue. Uh, with some examples in the next lectures. Thank you.